hi in this video I am going to tell you how to delete a document and how to remove a collection from MongoDB database okay so for that we started a server by typing MongoD so you can see that it is started on port number 27017 then again we will go for another command prompt and we will write Mongo for the client so our connection is now open I will use my command for creating a database that is use my db2 so it will create a database my db2 okay then I will create a collection by typing the command db dot create collection and my collection name is users okay after that I will insert some records with the help of command db dot collection name that is users dot insert then I am inserting my own id therefore I am using the same name as underscore id one two three then next column will be name the value will be Raj the next column will be gender and the value will be capital M denoting that it is a male okay so this is my first record again I will insert another record by just changing the field as F that is female and the name to Rajna and then ID to one to four then again some changes with ID one to five I will make the changes as Rajesh and gender male again 1 to 6 Rajni and female so I inserted 4 records 2 male and 2 female now I want to delete so here is a topic to delete a document in a collection we use a remove method in MongoDB ok the function name is remove ok so if we specify any selection criteria so if any document is matching to, to that uh, criteria will be deleted okay any number of documents if they are matching they will be deleted but if no condition is specified if no matching criteria is given only empty brackets are passed so all the documents will be removed from the collection okay so I am again using the command db.users.remove gender male that means whenever I get a male gender that the whole document will be deleted from my database okay so I am okay pay attention here I have you written here capital G okay and in my database there is a small g so when I will copy and paste this command into my client section what will happen just see okay as you can see that results is number of removed uh, documents are zero why is this so because the name of your field is started with capital G and in actual database the field name is starts with a small g so in case of NoSQL in case of MongoDB field name is also case sensitive so you have to give exact field name as well as exact value also because if I am not using capital M if I am writing a small m then also the field or the document will not be removed ok now I make the correction and now you can say number of removed items are 2 because here I have 2 matching records that is hanging gender as male now I will fire the query that is db.user.find I can see only female are remaining here so we are using remove command for deleting that document now what if I want to delete all the documents inside a collection I will just simply type the command db dot collection name dot remove then a bracket with empty curly brackets without any condition this will obviously remove all my documents inside that collection ok so as you can see I have written db.users.remove with an empty curly brackets it will remove my remaining documents from that collection ok so when I pass db.users.find I could not find any of the records remaining now when all the documents are removed and I want to uh, delete that uh, collection also I will use the drop command ok so for that I will write db dot collection name then dot drop 
this will remove my collection also okay so you will see that output as true that means the collection is no more there so for checking that the uh, command is working or not we will say that uh, by show collections command okay and this won't give you your collection name that is users that means it has been successfully removed from your mongodb database okay so that was all about deleting the documents by specifying a certain condition by not specifying any condition and after deleting all the documents if you are having an empty collection and you want to just delete it then use the drop command okay so thank you thank you so much for listening